Yeah. You, I read in your bio, uh, you asked yourself questions. Who am I? What do I want? What, what am, am I willing to do to get it? So how did you get the answers for these questions? Who is Katrina then? Well, that's a that's a big question to start out with. Um, <laughs> wow. All right. Da, not not waiting. Um, I think everyone who's in their early twenties, which I was when I started writing, um, is asking themselves those questions. Um, and I feel like sometimes you don't so much as learn the answer as the answer happens to you, if that makes sense. And in my case, I did not go into my 20s sort of after university with plans to become a novelist i had i had specialized in languages um i was hoping to be an interpreter but i took um took some time after after uni to um work on a farm to work on a farm in in hawaii um i was i was trying to find myself as so many people do um and what i started doing was writing a book um it's funny i didn't intend the book to be the the means of finding myself i was just bored um, <laughs> literally i was just bored um and i think i think it's really true that sometimes the most important things in your life happen for less good reasons like not okay. because you have this calling or because you had this massive like sense of mission sometimes not always and in my case it was a bit of an accident i was bored i started writing a novel um i loved books i loved to read growing up um, and I discovered that I enjoyed writing books. I enjoyed telling stories and I decided to at least attempt to finish the one I'd started. Um, and it's funny because my biggest advice to writers when they ask me is always finish what you start because finishing is harder than starting. And in my case, it took me three years to finish, um, my first novel. I, I worked on this farm in Hawaii for the first few months. Then I got a job guiding horse trips like horse tours so for a big chunk of time I was going during the day to guide horse trips and at night I was writing my book mm, and that yeah. Was on. yeah it was it was a time um a lot of I I smelled like horse 24 7 <laughs> um but I I I did that for a while and then I got a job um in in france with this like french government run teaching program where they hire like anglophone young people to t be teaching assistants in french schools that for a while i kept writing the whole time um long story short i finished the book um and was fortunate enough to find a publisher who wanted to publish three books by then i'd kind of envisioned this one book as three um it's funny you can't put as much plot into one book as you think you can um that was a discovery I made early on in the writing process. Um, so I ended up with a contract for three books and I was like, oh, wow, I can't, I, I, I'm doing this now, I guess. Um, <laughs> and then I wrote a kid's book kind of in between, which um, ended up being four kids books. And that's, that was seven books ago. So I feel like I'm, 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 I'm a writer now. It, it happened to me more than you I You found chose. yourself. I think so. I think so. I think like, finding yourself is not this thing you wake up to it's this thing that comes to you over time and little yeah. pieces back little pieces bit by bit yeah so inspiration comes from boredom message of the day <laughs> i think that people today should pursue boredom with effort because it's hard to figure out how to be bored today because there's so many things happening to you like when i was when i was 24 i didn't have a smartphone like I was I was out in this place with bad signal anyway. So there you get you get bored. You want to read books. It's like you you get in a notebook. You imagine stuff. Mm -hmm. You just I don't know. You, you get bored, and and, when, and your imagination rushes in to fill the gap when you're bored. But nowadays, like if you don't want to be bored, you don't have to be because there's there's audiobooks, there's there's Netflix, there's movies, there's all these things like in your hand podcasts no offense um <laughs> and between all these things like it's so hard to just be there alone with your thoughts um mm, yeah that's why i love i love the woods in part because um it, it allows you to kind of really be alone with your thoughts or um i like to garden i have a big garden and i enjoy gardening for the same reason we stay genuine, uncensored, and unscripted, and we always will, as we have to order our usual. Share us, subscribe us, and stay tuned until the next Wednesday. Because